In this video, I will compare the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H and AMD Ryzen 5 7520U, highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. Both of these processors are mid-range gaming processors. They are both AMD processors, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Let's examine them. The Ryzen 7520U was released 20 months after the launch of the Ryzen 5600H. The Ryzen 5 7520U features 4 performance cores and 8 performance threads, whereas the Ryzen 5 5600H has 6 performance cores and 12 performance threads. The greater number of cores and threads in the Ryzen 5600H enables it to efficiently handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Additionally, the base clock frequency of the Ryzen 5 5600H is 3.3 GHz, while that of the Ryzen 7520U is 2.8 GHz. Therefore, under normal CPU loads, the Ryzen 5 5600H performs better. In terms of boost clock frequency, the Ryzen 7520U operates at 4.3 GHz, slightly higher than the Ryzen 5600H at 4.2 GHz. Despite the approximately 100 MHz advantage of the Ryzen 7520U, the Ryzen 5600H performs better under heavy CPU loads due to its greater number of cores. The L1 and L2 cache of both processors are the same, but the L3 cache of the Ryzen 5600H is larger than that of the Ryzen 7520U. A greater cache size generally results in improved system performance by enabling the processor to store and retrieve more data and instructions quickly, reducing the necessity to fetch data from the slower main memory. The memory size supported by the Ryzen 7520U is 16GB, whereas that of the Ryzen 5600H is 32GB. The Ryzen 5 7520U supports LPDDR5, while the Ryzen 5 5600H supports LPDDR4 and DDR4. Additionally, the speed supported for the memory module for the Ryzen 7520U is 5500MHz, which is greater than that of the Ryzen 5600H. Both of these processors support integrated graphics, and the boost frequency of the integrated graphics for the Ryzen 5 7520U is slightly higher than that of the Ryzen 5 5600H. Consequently, the Ryzen 7520U may perform slightly better in graphical tasks. The Ryzen 7520U does not support ECC, while the Ryzen 5600H does. Therefore, for critical systems, the Ryzen 7520U is the better choice. Both processors support PCI version 3, but the Ryzen 5600H supports 16 PCI lanes, whereas the Ryzen 7520U supports only 4 PCI lanes. Having more PCI lanes can be advantageous for expanding connectivity and accommodating high-performance components. The Ryzen 5600H has a higher temperature tolerance than the Ryzen 7520U. The Ryzen 5600H can withstand temperatures up to 105 degrees Celsius, whereas the Ryzen 7520U can handle temperatures up to 95 degrees Celsius. The Ryzen 5 7520U has a fixed TDP of 15 watts, while the Ryzen 5 5600H has a configurable TDP ranging from 35 to 54 watts. This indicates that the Ryzen 5 7520U can be configured to operate at a lower power consumption than the Ryzen 5 5600H. However, it also provides the flexibility to run at a higher power consumption for enhanced performance. Now let's look at benchmark comparison. Looking at Cinebench R23 and Geekbench V6 for both single-core as well as multi-core this Ryzen 5600H performs better than Ryzen 7520U. So now ultimate choose between the processor is upon you so choose wisely by looking at these specifications and benchmarks. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never missed any update.